Begin by allowing your body to get comfortable. Find a position that feels good for you. Maybe it's sitting or lying down. And settle into that posture. Taking the time to get comfortable. Relax your body. Noticing if there's any muscular tension that's present for you at this time. Gently inviting that tension to relax, to loosen, to let go. getting comfortable and relaxed in the body. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, you can invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just smiling. allowing your physical body to incline your mind and heart towards happiness. As if you were riding a bicycle downhill, letting gravity carry you, just smiling. naturally leads towards happiness. Continue to maintain these qualities in your body, being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. And if at any time these qualities fade, you can simply reestablish them, making whatever shifts you need to, to stay comfortable and relaxed with a smile on your face. And begin to involve your mind. Taking some time to say some kind words to yourself in your mind. Perhaps giving yourself a compliment or reassuring yourself or encouraging yourself. Whatever words would feel appropriate for you right now. Take some time to give yourself love using words in your mind.
Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind. And relish in them. Delighting in the experience of saying kind words to yourself. Giving yourself that form of love. To whatever extent you feel loved in this way, allow yourself to notice those feelings and really enjoy them. Being nourished by this love that you're giving yourself. Very good. Now, bring to mind your easy to love person or animal, whoever that may be for you. And use your meta practice to cultivate love for them in whatever way feels right for you. Perhaps using words or images or directly accessing feelings of love in your heart. Whichever method you choose is perfect. Simply cultivate love using your easy to love person or animal. Again, to whatever extent you feel this love in your body, notice that and really enjoy it, savoring these feelings of love. They may or may not be present at this time. It's no problem if they're not. But if they are, really enjoy them. It's as if your connection to your easy to love person or animal is a doorway, a doorway to love, to the direct experience of love. To whatever extent you can, immerse yourself in this love. 
Let it surround you. Fill your whole experience. We begin to visualize this love. This love that you're cultivating. This love that you're experiencing. Visualize it surrounding you. As if it were a sphere. Or a bubble. That you were swimming in. Encapsulated by. Visualize this love surrounding you. If these feelings of love are present for you, allow them to merge with this visualization so that it becomes a synesthetic experience for you. The lines between seeing and feeling love are blurry. They blend together. Immerse yourself in this love. At this point, it's less about a specific person that you love and more about directly tapping into the experience of love. As if love were a frequency on the radio and you were turning the dial to find that frequency. whatever extent you can, establish and maintain this connection to love, to the frequency of love, the experience of love. Perhaps you're connecting to it through visualization or through direct feeling or a combination in whatever way it's available for you allow love to suffuse your experience let it become like a still lake that we might drop a rock into
continue to connect and sustain this experience of love for another moment. without losing this experience of love, without setting it aside, begin to introduce a new element. Consider a situation in your life that you have feelings about of any kind. Happiness, sadness, fear, anger, some other texture of emotion. Bring the situation to mind and your feelings about it to heart. As you continue to be immersed in this love, allow your feelings about this particular situation in your life to be held in the sphere of love, to be like a rock that you're dropping into this still calm lake of love. Juxtapose your feelings about this situation, whatever they may be, with the qualitative experience of love that you've cultivated and connected to. Let them blur and blend together. Directing love towards your emotional experience of this situation, whatever it is. Letting your happiness bubble up as it meets love. Letting your sadness be soothed as it's held by love. Letting your anger be seen and calmed in connection with love. Letting your fear be comforted and assuaged as it's met by love. Whatever the emotional texture of your feelings are about this situation, let them be met by love, held in connection with love. Dare to let love be the answer.
you can continue to stay with this same situation, letting your feelings about it be infused by love. Or you can bring to mind and heart a different situation and your feelings about that. Moving through as many situations as you like, at whatever pace you like.
Very good. Now, take a moment to consider a way that you might bring this love into your life as an act of kindness. Is there something kind that you could do in the coming days that would be a concrete way to manifest this love in the world? Take a moment to consider an action you might enjoy taking and set the strong intention to do it, to demonstrate this love as an act of kindness and service to the world. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 